Oh hey YouTube, how's it going? I'm really excited about today's vlog because it's actually an unboxing vlog. The 2018 iPad to be specific, 9.7, I got it in the space gray. But enough talking, let's just get to the to the unboxing. That's what you're here for, blah blah blah, I keep going. Oh sweet, so I got my whole setup here, like those um, typical YouTube vloggers or tech vloggers. Um, are my hands dry? Yeah, a little bit. One sec. There you go, that's better. If you're watching this in the year 3018 or any other year that's not 2018 and you're wondering why I'm even vlogging about this iPad, well, do you leave, let me know in the comments what kind of updates they've made for the iPads in, 2000, in 3018 because I'd be fascinated to know. Um, in addition to the reason why I went with this iPad versus the 2017 9.7, this iPad actually has uh, Apple Pencil support, so if you're planning on sketching or, I don't know, taking notes with the tablet, I'd probably recommend going with this one, or if you have the extra dough, or if you want to replace your MacBook, go ahead and get the iPad Pro, but I think this is good for me. I'll probably get the pencil down the line. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy opened. Okay, I probably need a knife, one second. Make the incision here. Hey, might as well go all the way around. Oh, might as well go all the way around. I'm not really good with knives. I've once cut, I've cut myself a few times. This is a scar, oh. This here is a scar from um, not being careful with glass. And I think uh, not too long ago, I recently cut my hand by accident cutting cheese. Not that cutting cheese, actually, literally cutting cheese. So let's go ahead and open the rest of it. Ha! Get out of here. Oh, that's not the garbage. Here's the garbage. Let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. I initially wanted the uh, the silver one, but it wasn't available. So I guess gray is pretty cool too. Put this to the side and <laughs> drop down the floor. Oh, jeez. Okay, so. The top of the box is not good. It's not, the top of the iPad box is not good for standing. So make sure that you don't leave a, put it standing anywhere because it'll fall over. It's fallen over like four or five times already just trying to be on the side over there. So, uh, okay, I'll put this to the side for now. And you know, if you are watching this from the year 2019 or 2020 and Apple has made any advancements in the way they box things, do comment down below and let me know because to be honest, Apple has been doing the same thing with the packaging for years. And why change it if it's not broken? It's smooth AF, it's really sleek. All the important stuff is nicely laid out with that white background. I think Apple is one of the first, perhaps one of the first uh, companies to actually market the products with a lot of white space and, and white and like it still works to this day. So I mean, don't change your ways Apple uh, in terms of packaging. Maybe an all black one would be cool. So. You know, the standard stuff, the instruction manual, which nobody ever reads. We have a power brick. I'm not gonna really take it out because I already have an existing one. Um, but yeah, the power brick, obviously you know that. And I just want to add in again, if you're watching this and you're rolling your eyes, it's probably because you've already opened up, you know, a tablet box before, an iPad box before, but some people will be like curious as to what the unboxing experience looks like for this kind of iPad. So, and plus I want to just have some fun with it and here's me having fun with it. So yeah, the cable. I don't think there's anything under this. I don't think it even comes out. So that's that. Um, I'll put this down here. The wobbly thing, wobbly case. And like most unboxings, this is what people pine for. People uh, get excited for it's removal of the plastic. And I, I personally do. I've, I've unboxed so many different devices in my life and it's just like, this is always so satisfying. Crinkle, crinkle. I may not have done that smoothly enough, but at least it's still in. Oh, it's still in good form. I can just put this back into the box. Wicked. See, look at that. Anyways, put this to the side. Here you go. The 2018 iPad, 
I got the space gray. It looks like an iPad, that's for sure. Like you've probably seen an iPad in your in your day to day life. They've been around for for so long. So this iPad is no different. It looks like every other iPad out there. The edges aren't as chamfered. Is that the word? Aren't as chamfered as the iPad Minis are. But you know, it is what it is. It's got the fingerprint ID. Sorry, <laughs> touch ID. Let's just be, uh, boot this bad boy up. I mean, you probably seen an iPad before, but like I said earlier, if you're in the market for an iPad and you want the iPad 9.7 2018, hopefully this video has been informative for you uh, of, what, of what you can ex um, expect during the unboxing of this iPad. Hello, hello YouTube, it said. Um, and you know the deal. If you've ever used an iPad before, standard stuff. This stuff looks the same as every other Apple device and it hasn't changed much over the years, so. Same old, same old. I'll do this off camera, but you know, if you did enjoy this vlog of this unboxing of the 2018 iPad, do let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel because you can expect to see different types of technology vlogs like this one if, if, it's a, if it gets a good um, reaction. Also, if it's not a technology vlog, it could be something like events around Toronto or even around the world, wherever I, I find myself, or even music. I, that's what, another thing I'm passionate about in video games. So if you do like that kind of content, please subscribe to my channel. So if you also want to follow me on my social channels, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter, which is coming up now, up on that, to that side. And uh, I, I guess I'll catch you in the next vlog. All right, see you later.